in this video i'm going to show you how you can add lens flare to your next design project right here in pscc for my um section here these are some of the designs that i have added lens flare to and let me just quickly show you this just take a look at the design very well and you can see it see that see that and see that so that is that on that and uh, let me just show you how you can add your own lens flare to your next design project so the first thing you want to do is as soon as you're on the front page you need to import the design which you want to use so i'll click on plus icon this first icon here i'll click on photo library and um, i'll look for the design wherever it is mine is in pixel lab i'm not sure if this is pixel lab i'll just look for my design real quick so this is my design here i'll click on my design and i'll click on add so this is the design here and um, the next thing i need to do is to click on the icon down here once i click on it now to import the next layer now i'll click on the plus icon i'll click on photo layer photo library and then i'll locate i'll go back i'll locate um that lens flare in whatever food it is so mine will take a while i'll just scroll down so i find where my own lens flare is so mine is in downloads and as soon as yours yours might be in download telegram whatsapp wherever just look for that and then click on the lens flare i'm using the one for my gallery so i'll click on add so now this is it for stick note that you don't just add um lens flare anyway and um mine actually don't change the color since no, most of the design I actually create in white backgrounds so we'll just increase this a little bit I click on this um, icon here, the check mark icon. So once I've clicked on that, I click on FX at the top. I'll click on Gaussian blur. I increase this all the way to the end so that you know it can blur that area for me. I click on check my button. I click on this icon down here once again. I'll click on the other icon here, and I'll select screen for this. I'll select screen for, so you can see the screen has taken away all those black areas. So now I'll let me duplicate the um, lens flare. In order to duplicate that lens flare, you click on the icon down here. The lens flare is selected. So I'll click on the plus icon, I'll click on duplicate layers. So I'll just play this like two to three times. Let me log on the layers. Okay, I'll click on the first um, lens flare. I'll click on the icon at the top. I'll click on transform. So once I click on transform, now you can see you can move this lens flare wherever I want. So normally when using this lens flare, it shouldn't be on the image itself. Just like it should be touching the subject, touching the image a little bit. So you can do that by increasing the size. So you can see I'm increasing the size and I'm pushing it away from the image. So now normally I, I use my own lens flares. I position it near the image and I sometimes I use it um, near my text. So I think this is okay. It's touching um, it's, anywhere you want to put this. As long as it's not touching the main image itself, just the side of the image. Click on the check mark icon if you're okay with that. Let me select the next one. I mean, let me enable the layer for the next one. I'll go back to the top here, click on the hand section, click on transform again. So I can move this. Like I said, I use mine in text area, right? So I can increase the size. Then that's why you can see from some of my designs, you can see that I've seen that sometimes um, some part of the design closed. These are actually this. So I'll just increase the size. Let's not touch the text to let the flare um, edges just be touching the text edge and whatever um, part you want to use. So where is um okay, the third one is still here. It's not most. Um, you use all three or depending on how many times you duplicated it but uh, if you're not okay sometimes i just increase the overall size and i place it in the background itself let me just place it maybe near here okay, i think this one is okay it's not really showing but i think it's actually um okay so this is it for that so in case you're working with um a different background entirely in case you're working with a different background entirely all you need to do is to select any lens flare that you want to change the color click on this icon at the top here and you can see all these options which you have here so you can use the curve or uh -huh, just the same, the same way you use curve in like trim and snapseed is that you use the curve the blue is selected so you can see yes this is it but all you need to do is you adjust this to your own taste so you are good to go you can change colors to green whatever you want to see so the color is changing so you can see this so it depends on, it depends on your background um color um i prefer you use the curve in the curve section if you want to change color so let me just um disable this so this is okay let me just click on i'm true with what i want to add but if you still want to add you just duplicate anyone uh, let me just duplicate this one real quick i'll duplicate this one and i will just okay i'll just add it here so this is it let me just increase the overall size increase the overall size so you can see like i said it shouldn't touch your design right so you can add this wherever you want i can reduce the size and just bring it somewhere here so you can see this is the nice this is the nice so this is it so in order to save that design click on done at the top here click on save Click on save just wait for it to load and then this is it you are good to go so of course this the one i practiced earlier was actually this one so i just had to reposition it just because i was teaching you guys so you can see it's close to our face and it's close to our shoulder so that is that and now i actually use let's play so now to save this design now to your gallery just click on this second icon here click on save to gallery click on select png then select the design that you that just finished doing. I'll select the first one i'll click on okay and then uh, the design will process so you should just set it like this the last player just to do a little bit of it but let me show you um let me head over to lightroom too so you can see the final output so this is my final output in lightroom you can see it before this is the lens flare you can see 
the after. So whatever software you're using to edit, just do it to edit that. You want to use the once I make sure you add the next layer first, then come to edit. That's when the edition will pop out more. So this is how I actually did it, and then I just edited it with Lightroom, and I got this um, result. If you want to see some of my Lightroom tutorials, you can check my playlist. Or you can check the link in the description. The link for the lens layer, um, everything I use in this tutorial will be in the description as well. And um, you can see some of my designs here too as well, which I use lens layer on. So this is it. Okay, let this load real quick. So this is it. You can see edges. You can see the text there. 10K. Just take a look at the 10K. So you can see it has come out. So this is guys. This is how I use lens layer in PSCC. And I hope you found value from this tutorial. If you did, share this video to someone that might need it. And I'll see you guys in my next upload.